Should I build a full bolt-on 500 horsepower machine or should I go boosted? That's the question that we're asking today if you've got a Corvette C6. I've got a twin turbo Corvette C6. I've done the research. Let's talk about it. Here's the thing. If you've got a Corvette C6 and you're trying to think about how to make more power and you're going down the mods list, there's several ways to get to 500 plus horsepower. Now, in the last video, we talked about doing full bolt-ons. Now, full bolt-ons, that's going to be headers, exhaust, cam, heads, intake, airbox, tune. And for all that, you're looking at about sixty-five, seventy-five hundred dollars $7,500. And with labor, another 3K, you're looking at about 10 grand to do full bolt-ons installed by a shop, them doing 75% of the parts for the install. Now, 10K, if you've got an LS2, LS3, that's gonna put you around 500, 520 wheel or so for $10,000. So you gotta ask yourself, do you wanna go NA build or should you do boost? Now, if you do a full maxed out NA build, it's gonna cost you like 10K, 500 wheel, like I said. And that car the best part about an na build is that power is going to be immediate it's going to have a nice choppy lumpy cam it's going to sound good if it's tuned right and it's going to be nasty it's going to be a really really fun car but you're going to run into a point with the ls2 ls3 where you're maxed out power wise you're only going to be able to make maybe 530 wheel out of one of those bad boys if you want to break that 530 wheel horsepower approximately barrier you've got to go boost and there's a couple of ways you can do this now number one if you've got a corvette c six and you've already done a couple mods you can just go ahead and add a supercharger or turbos now and call it a day and make five six hundred wheel pretty easy or you can do all of your full bolt homes and then you can do boost down the road but if we're talking best bang for the buck boost is gonna be the way to go and hear me out if you do full bolt homes about 10k in and you're gonna make around 520 somewhere between 500 530 rear wheel horsepower if you have a stock corvette c6 bone stock and we put a supercharger on it for six Okay, we throw some fuel injectors in that bad boy and then we throw a fuel pump on that bad boy we're probably gonna make 550 to 600 wheel right out the gate and that's bone stock everything else and we can probably do all of that for about 8,000 and the install is gonna be a little cheaper so if we took an a a supercharger for $6,500 we added a thousand dollar fuel injectors we added an $800 fuel pump you're looking at $8,300 and then we pay a shop or we can do the install ourselves the supercharger install is not crazy if you get a buddy to help you can do it yourself and then get it taken to you know or just put it to your tuner or get it towed to your tuner let them tune it on the dyno and you'll be good to go and with that setup you're probably going to make at least 600 wheels so bang for the buck wise if you're thinking about doing full bolt-ons or you're considering doing just a supercharger or turbo setup you're gonna make more power going the boosted route for the money now like i said if you're gonna go boosted you've got to get a couple supporting mods if you're going full bolt-ons then you're not really going to need a clutch or a new fuel pump or injectors or a bottom end build or anything like that but if you're doing a boosted application and you're going to run six to eight pounds of boost or so you're going to need a fuel pump you can do like a Warbro fuel pump you can do a booster pump you can do an entire four fuel system and then you're going to need some injectors for injectors i'd probably do like a thousand cc or something nothing too crazy and then if you've got an automatic you can think about a torque converter if you've got a stick shift you can think about a clutch but if you're around 550 600 wheel those are probably going to be fine especially if you got the tr66 with the LS3, but once you get over around 650 wheel, you're gonna need to think about doing the clutch or the torque converter, and your fuel system's already gonna be good to go. So if you do a boosted application, you gotta remember, you've gotta do the fuel system. Fuel injectors, fuel pump, good to go. Now the downfall about doing a boosted application over a full bolt-on application is when you do something boosted, there could be just a pinch of turbo lag. You know, just a pinch. If you got a supercharger, it's gonna come on a little quicker. If you do a turbo or twin turbo, it's gonna be just a little slower to come up, but once it gets there, it's really, really gonna get there if you do a full bolt on build the only downfall is your power limitation you know, that thing's gonna sound nasty it's gonna just rip whenever you just press the gas pedal because it's gonna be almost instantaneous response but you're gonna be maxed out power wise unless you got the ls7 and the z06 and you can build that bad boy and make like 650 wheel if you're in the ls2 ls3 you're gonna be below 550 wheel on a na build for sure now if you want to go boosted i would recommend going with the ana supercharger maybe even the pro charger if you want to make big power that really depends on how much power you want to make. If you want to go turbo, there's our own three single turbo setup. And then my twin turbo setup, it was made by UPP. The turbo setup, if you buy one, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. If you can do a custom turbo setup, that's going to be the cheapest route out of all of them. Otherwise, for a supercharger, for an a a just to get into an a a supercharger, you're probably looking at like 5 or 6K. Now, sometimes you can get lucky if you go on the Corvette forms. And you got to be super careful with this stuff. You don't want to run into scammers. You got to be really careful. 
careful. Or if you know a buddy or maybe a local shop where guys have some Corvettes, sometimes you can pick up a supercharger for like 3K or something like that. And if you can do that, that's a good deal. Maybe even Facebook Marketplace if it's a reputable seller. Otherwise, you're looking at five or 6K on a supercharger setup. But like I said, just with the base supercharger setup, you're probably gonna make 550 wheels, 600 pretty easy. Once you get that supercharger set up, once you get the fuel system, once you get the transmission upgrade, if you're gonna be pushing over 600 wheel, you gotta get that bad boy tuned. And once you get it tuned and once you get it settled in, then you can do your bolt-ons because now you got your boosted setup and now you can buy a camshaft that's made specifically for a boosted setup. And that's what I did. I built the twin turbo setup and then I got a Brian Tooley stage two twin turbo cam and that'll help out so much more. You know, it's gonna be, it's smarter if you go that direction. And then if you run a boosted setup, you don't really have to worry about cylinder heads as much anymore. I mean, yeah, you can still get 30 horsepower to the cylinder heads, but if you're running a boosted setup, you can get that 30 horsepower just by adding one or two pounds of boost. So that's the beauty about the boosted setup is that it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than a full bolt-on setup and you can scale it a little bit more. The downfall is, is that it's a little bit more maintenance long-term. You know, you're no longer in A, you're belt driven, things can break. You know, you've got to upgrade some other components. Now, there are positive parts about being full bolt-on. Like I said, immediate response. You're going to make instant power. It's going to sound nasty, but you're going to be limited power-wise. Either way, man, appreciate you guys watching. I just want to make a quick video talking about should you go full bolt-on? Should you go boosted? In the end of the day, the best bang for the buck play is to go boosted. But if you're going full bolt-ons, that's okay. You can boost down the road. You can change the setup you're going to. That's part of the car game, man. You don't have to just pick something and stick with it. You can change it up anytime you want as long as the money allows it. You know what I mean? but appreciate you guys watching. If you like BMW content, if you like Corvette C6 content, make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.